For West Michigan, this is 24-Hour News 8 Football Frenzy. The high school football state finals kicking off today at Ford Field with five West Michigan teams vying for a state championship. Three of them, Saga, Tuck, Lowell, and Grand Rapids Catholic Central in action today. 24-Hour News 8's Jack Dole joins us now live from Detroit with more on the Indians and Red Arrows. Jack. Yeah, Larry, Saga Tuck, you know, this is like a real-life football Hoosiers. Only 16 guys on their varsity roster throughout the regular season. When they came into Ford Field today, it was kind of like the Gene Hackman scene where he where he's the, uh, took the tape measure and measured the basket. This place was a little overwhelming, and it, they were overmatched in this championship game. Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart scored on every possession of the first half. Opening drive that goes 63 yards on 11 plays. Bennett Myler caps off the drive with a 20-yard touchdown run, 7-0 Irish. After a Saga Tuck fumble, Sacred Heart grinds out another score. Mitch Myler, the quarterback keeper from the 7, 14-0. The Indians finally crack the scoreboard in the second. Lance Kleino, three-yard touchdown run, cuts the lead to 14-7. That's also as close as it would get. Sacred Heart with a quick strike on the ensuing drive. Myler to Matt Mills, 66-yard touchdown catch, 21-7. Another Saga Tuck turnover leads to another Irish touchdown. Myler to Ryan Grinzinger this time. This pass play covers 33 yards and makes it 28-7. Sacred Heart led 42-7 at the half and had a running clock to start the third quarter. Indians keep on fighting, though. At a couple of fourth quarter touchdowns, Lance Kleino and All-Stater Ethan Colton both find the end zone. 42-21 the final. Not the dream finish Saga Tuck was hoping for, but a remarkable run nonetheless. We've uh, we've had a great run this year. We've uh, gone places and levels of uh, football at Saugatuck uh, more than any other team in, in prior history, and, and I'm so proud of these kids and what they've accomplished this year. We got ourselves into a hole, and we had to dig ourselves out, but we never gave up, and I was proud of everybody on the team for hanging in there the whole time and just giving it their all no matter what the score was or however they felt or if they were hurting or anything like that. Everybody just didn't give up. Three weeks from now, ten years from now, Saga Tuck will certainly look back at this with no bitter memories.